What's up, guys? How you all doing? I'm your instructor, Eric. Lance, you okay? I'm doing great. Chip? Fine. Doing excellent. And Chad? Okay. Awesome, Chad, my man. Okay, today I want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine. His name is Timmy. Here's Timmy. Everyone say hi. Hey, Timmy! Hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. And uh, today, what Timmy wants to do, he wants to go sailing on our lake. And our job today is to equip Timmy with the proper devices to make sailing on our lake fun, but mainly safe today, okay? Of course, yeah. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, can you brainstorm up any devices, any material that Timmy should have on him when he tries to go sailing today? Um, maybe, maybe a whistle? Very good oh, job, Chef. Here, come and give Timmy a great big whistle. I, I have an idea. What's up, Lance? Booties. Booties, that's right. We don't want to be stubbing our toes on the on the hull of the boat. So I'm going to let you draw booties on Timmy. Shed, Chad, Chaz, Chad, Chad. What do you think? A bailer? A bailer. Great call. We don't want to be sinking Titanic style. <laughs> that's right. Come on up. <laughs> what about you, Chad? Um, Oh, sunscreen. Sunscreen, that's right. We don't want to be uh, burning up. Great Sean Paul song. Sunscreen. Uh, Lance? Uh, Chapeau. Great call. French for hat. Good job. Okay, but what I'm looking for right now is the most important thing to have on you when you sail. It's a legal bylaw that you have to have it, and it is the number one lifesaver on a boat. The life jacket? That's right. Good job. Come and give Timmy a life jacket. He now looks pretty safe. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and that's a perfect segue on to what we're talking about today, and that is PFE safety. Can anyone tell me what PFP stands for? Quick. Um, Personal flotation device. Raise your hand next time, but great answer. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you, did you guys know there's a difference between a life jacket and a PFD? Really? No. What? That's right. See, a life jacket is used to keep the head above the water. It would turn an unconscious person right side up. So it's the, you'll see a flap on the back. And that's where people would be bobbing in the water. They'd have their chin above the water, and therefore they can breathe, right? So you'll see a life jacket used for smaller children who can't swim, like us four. And uh, they'll be find, found on lifeboats and other boats where uh, you don't know what kind of condition the, the, where the user will have. And a PFD is this right here. Uh, it's smaller, less bulky, built more for comfort, and... Uh, it's used mainly for recreational boating and stronger for stronger swimmers, I guess. So right now I'm going to show you guys the proper method of, uh, of putting on a PFD. Can I get a volunteer? Oh. 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 Chip. Yeah, My man, Chip. Oh, I'm a nerd. Hey, be kind. Okay. I'm going to loosen these up. Right. I like this lesson. Oh, it's great. It's been free. Through here. Oh, ow! Stop <laughs> it. Okay, I'm going to do that right here. Now, I'm going to do... Aerial surgery. Oh, yeah, should we say. What's the matter with this stuff? Whoa, hey, what? What's wrong with this? I, I, was, I, I had this first. That's right, Lance. It was passing his mouth, he's gonna drown. That's right. This is way too much. I don't feel, yeah, no, I don't feel safe at all. So, whenever you apply a PFD, you wanna make sure. Sean, is it broken? It is tight around the shoulders, tight on the sides. That way, it's still comfortable though, because you're gonna be spending a lot of time on the water. There we go. Nice. That's not going anywhere. He snug. looks snug and secure. You can keep that. Awesome. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> All right. The crazy thing about PFD is that every year there are over 100 Canadians who will drown from boating. 
and 87% of those people are not wearing their flight jackets or PFDs properly. So, in that sense, it's incredibly <laughs> important that we know how to wear a PFD properly. Of course. All right, perfect. Do you see any pockets on the life jacket? Um, oh yeah, what's, what's that? Okay. Um, we're gonna go around the room and you guys will tell me what you think should go in your PFD. Okay, think about for safety, think about for racing. Um, oh, fuck. Flashlight? That's right, you never know when you're caught in the dark. Here you go. Can you write flashlight on the board? Um, oh. Chip. A whistle. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Want to attract attention in case you're in any danger? Exactly. Well played. <coughs> hey, you, buddy. Um. I have an idea, but I forgot it. Oh, yeah? I remember now. What is it? A boater's license. A boater's license, that's right, if you have one. Genius. Whenever you're boating, or even sailing for that matter, it's always a good idea to have a boater's license on you. Uh, Chip, how about you? Another one? Um, maybe a compass, sail for lost right. oh, It's not a big problem out here, because we can see the horizons on the lake. But out in the ocean, you, you, may, you, may, you might need to know uh, where home is and where you're heading. That's where a compass, you know where north is, it's always a good idea. Now, uh, what about if you're racing? What's necessary to have? Uh, Maybe on your wrists? A wristwatch. A wristwatch. Perfect. Two Perfect. Time you starts. That's right, you're two for two. <laughs> Can you think of anything, chat? No? That's okay. I think we got a pretty darn good list up here. Is that right, guys? Oh, yeah. Yes. So that concludes my lesson. I really hope you guys took some great information out about this. And just always remember, life jacket is the key to safety whenever you're boating, whenever you're on the water, water skiing, and like us when we're sailing. Okay? Everyone, give me high fives. Yeah. One high five from Lance. One high five from Chad. And a high five from Chip. And a high That's five right. from you guys.